I've never had an android before. Like um, a Samsung one anyway. I'm gonna leave these on for now because I haven't got a case yet. I'm so excited to draw with it. So I have now bought a case and a screen protector. I'm actually gonna buy some stickers off of Etsy or like pictures to put in the back because it's clear and I want it to be um, like cool looking on the back as well. I'm not 100% sure what yet, but I think I'm gonna get a Coraline sticker, Nightmare Before Christmas sticker. Um, I saw some other ones as well. I can't remember what they were, but I'm gonna get and those to put in. I think I want to get like a picture. Oh yeah, there was a Beetlejuice picture. You know the fo the Polaroid of them with the cloths on. I think I want that in there. That'd look really cute. Um, I like kind of like celestial, spooky, witchy aesthetic vibe kind of thing. Um, I do love when people decorate their things and like their screens of these with, you know, like their home pages and the back of the case with cutesy aesthetic things. But it's just not me. Um, even though I really like how it looks, it's just not me. So, this is my current background. Um, I only did this because I was thinking, you know, it's getting closer to Halloween. I'll probably change it soon to something a bit cuter. But, um, this is it for now. I think I have a few backgrounds that I really like. So, I'm just going to log in and show you. So, this is one that I really like for Halloween. And that's the one I currently have. That's another cute one. And then I really like this. This. That's pretty cool, but it's a bit plain. That. I like that one because of the orange, but it's a bit too uniform. And then there's just tattoos and stuff, but I like these backgrounds. I'm thinking of that one. I like that one quite a lot. I think that'd look nice with my background on my um, lock screen, but I currently have this as my background, I really do like this one, because it's floral and pretty and aesthetic, but it's also like kind of dark, and I think it's really cute. So once I got them stickers, um, in fact I might show you the stickers on because I'm probably going to upload this before they arrive or before I order them because I haven't ordered them yet. But yeah, I've removed everything from here and I put YouTube there. I don't know what to do yet with the home screen. Like, I'm new to Samsung, but I might remove these and put them somewhere else so it's like completely plain, but I'm not sure yet. I put a clock up here. It's so, like one of the first things I did. I don't know why, but I did. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll show you the Etsy stickers. I just want to add in a final note to this, the end of this video. Um, 
this is really good for drawing. I'll show you my drawings I've done if it wants to. It's my finger. I need to use my pen. Don't get me wrong. Like your finger does um, work on this. Completely fine, but and sorry about the smudges. I'll try. Oh, I want to be a tattoo artist. I don't know if anyone knows that. That was an attempted cover up I did using this kit. Kit. This is what I originally bought the um the thing for to do cover ups, not cover ups, to do tattoo designs and things like that and drawings in general. So I'm just going to go through them to show you what this thing is capable of and bear in mind I haven't had it very long. So it's definitely going to give some insight, I hope. So this is something I did. Now this is a picture of my brother with a fish and bear, I had to rub it out because there's no line in it. But that is the picture of my brother with a fish. And what I did was basically create um, this from that. Via overlining and my own shading and things like that. So that's something you can do with this. You can overlap layers. It's like Photoshop. Um, and the pen it works really well for... Well, for what it's for this use. This is a little pixie girl I'm working on currently. She's nowhere near done. You can see her hair. I'm not sure what to do with the hair yet. But yeah, that's one. That's another lady I'm doing. It's another cover up I was attempting to do for my friend. That was just me playing about with the Coraline. Um, like looking thing. My brother drew that because he wanted to have a go. That was me, as, you know, doing a moon. That has a lot more detail in it than it looks. It's not done yet again. That's another cover up of the other thing. I'll show you it quickly. This is the original. And this is what I covered it with, just as a little attempt. It was more for practice than anything. This is a face and a heart I did. This is an eye I did. So you can get a lot of detail in. I mean, it's, it's more about the artist than the tablet, but this is a heart I did. This is a Emily from the Corpse Bride that I did. It's a love potion I did, which I'm not sure whether to keep this on it or not. But, you know, I'll figure it out. If anybody wants to follow my art Instagram, I'll link it down below. Um, I'll be adding more and more things. This is a mandala I did, a little one. This is a Frida Kahlo I did. That was my first ever like proper drawing. It's a spider. Um, I tried to do a realistic spider for a first proper drawing on this. That was a mandala I did. Some butterflies practicing with a symmetrical tool on here. And that was her snake, but we ignore her. But yeah, if anybody wants to follow my Instagram, definitely feel free to. I definitely would like you guys to follow it. Um, My goal is to be a tattoo artist, like I said. And I just love drawing in general. If you really like drawing, this tablet's perfect for that. And the camera's not even that bad. So if you do want to just take a photo of the person's arm or whatever first with this, then you can do that. That's what my brother did on this one. And that's a pretty clear photo of his arm, considering. So that's decent. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and subscribe.